On the banks of the river Niger lies Segu. We're here for the return of the Festival Sur le Niger, an event that used to attract tourists from across the world. The crowd here are delighted to be back. For the past two years, the conflict in northern Mali meant this festival had to be cancelled. The fighting never reached this far south, but the instability it brought has devastated the tourism industry throughout the country. We are not working and it's not easy for us uh, to get our daily bread than to feed our family. And we just always come and to sit on the shade, just speaking, and we are not doing nothing. People here need the tourists back. The hope is that this festival could persuade them to return. This year, we want the whole world to believe that Mali is a country where you can happily visit. All the security measures have been taken. My hope is for all the tourists in the world to come and visit Segu so the revival of the tourism sector can be a reality. Grand ambitions, but many Western governments are still advising their citizens against all travel to Mali. Though that hasn't put everyone off. It's been uh, really exciting to see everything. Um, I think there's a sense of hope, but also still a sense of desperation here. They need the tourists. Much of that hope has been placed in the ability of Mali's world-famous musicians to draw the tourists back. This first of all is very important. It's a way to tell also these, maybe those people uh, who wanted to come in Mali, but they, 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 they are afraid. This is the proof to tell them the festival has happened, no problem, uh, no bomb, <laughs> no attack. So they can be, uh, uh, I think, confident and they can come to Mali to visit and to do all, all, all the things they want. One of the main aims of this festival is to let people know that Mali is ready to welcome tourists back. From looking at the crowd here, it doesn't look like the message has got through yet. But the very fact that the festival is taking place at all shows just how much progress Mali has made in the past year since the height of the crisis.